Your gaming mouse is arguably the most important piece of equipment when playing any video game, but especially Rainbow Six Siege. That is why choosing the right mouse for you is so important to unlocking your full potential in Rainbow Six Siege. But before we go on, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now for the top 10. While there are several aspects of Rainbow Six that factor into how good of a player you are, such as utility usage, drone usage, communication, movement, positioning, teamwork, etc. In the end, your aim will determine if you're going to frag out or not. Everyone wants to have godlike aim, but the first step of having godly aim is to find the right mouse for you. Picking the right mouse might be the difference between getting that sweet one-tap headshot or completely whiffing your shots. That is what this video is meant to help you with. You can see the most popular and best mice that the pros, or otherwise known as the people with godlike aim, use. The list was ordered by how many professional Rainbow Six Siege Pro players use each mouse. So these are the top 10 best and most popular mice used by Rainbow Six Siege professional players. The 10th most used mouse by professional Rainbow Six Siege players is the Final Mouse Ultralight 2. Some of the best pro players using this mouse are the Greek god and freak himself Hyper from Dark Zero Esports in North America, Nesk from Team Liquid in Latin America and Panix from Narvi in Europe. With some of the most talented players in all of Rainbow Six Siege, it's obvious that this mouse is at least worth a look at if you're in the market for a new mouse. To start off, the mouse is right-handed and wired, so if you're looking for a wireless mouse, this is not for you. When you first look at the mouse, the first thing that jumps out to everyone is the unique design of having several holes around the mouse. The holes are there to allow it to be as light as possible while still being structurally sound. This mouse is extremely small, so make sure that you have a small hand in order to buy this mouse, or it might not fit you. Or you might have hand cramps due to the size. Due to its small size, it is one of the lightest mice on the market at 50 grams. The mouse, in addition, is very expensive and can only be bought because this mouse was sold in a limited release. It will be hard to find one of these, and if you do, it usually is upwards of 200 US dollars. As you would guess with a price like that, the sensor is top of the line, and you won't have any problems with it. The mouse is best for claw and fingertip grip, but works for palm as well, although it is not recommended. Overall, the Final Mouse Ultralight 2 is a very unique mouse that isn't for everyone, but if it works for you, it helps your game out a lot. Next mouse on the list is coming in at number 9 is the Zowie EC2B. A few professional Rainbow Six players that use this mouse are your very own Retro from Disrupt Gaming, Brid on BDS from Europe, and Vertical who is on Oxygen Esports in North America. Brid, who is as of right now is the top performing player of the European League, so the mouse seems to be good enough to give a try. This mouse is a wired right-handed mouse, and like every mouse on the list, has an almost perfect mouse sensor. It comes in at 90 grams, which is an average weight for a mice nowadays. The design is very simplistic, with no RGB or cool colours or shapes. Zowie likes to focus on performance, so if you're looking for a designer looking mouse, this might not be for you. The mouse is a medium size and works with almost any grip. The one complaint some people have with the mouse is that the mouse can be a little slippery and not very grippy, which could cause some problems for some. The mouse ultimately is a quality choice for most people, but right now it is very hard to find one of these mice for sale. Most options for buying the mouse are getting a used one on a third party website. At number 8, the Zowie EC2A is the next mouse on the list. A couple pro players that use this mouse are Sweet Black of Cloud9 in Korea and Vito Line from Chaos Esports Club in Europe. 
This mouse, like its sibling, EC2B, has a very discreet design, and they prioritized performance when it came to designing this mouse. The sensor is great, and you can't find a flaw with it. It has a non-glossy plastic finish, as well as no rubber grips, which can be a positive or a negative depending on your preference. It is a wired right-handed medium mouse that weighs 92 grams. The shape of the mouse is very comfortable for most hands, and Zowie always puts thought into every edge and curve of their mouse. This is not an exemption for this mouse. It is usually sold for about $70, but with mice being so expensive, that is a usual price for top mice like this one. Coming up at number 7 is the Zowie FK2. The two most well-known and best pro players that use this specific mouse are Mint from Dark Zero Esports and Lusty from Fnatic. Yet another Zowie mouse on this shows an obvious trend that Zowie make amazing mice that are built for esports players. Not just Rainbow Six, but many esports scenes use Zowie mice very frequently. The FK2 is no different than other Zowie mice, as it doesn't rely on flashy looks, and they focused on performance when they made this mouse. This is one of two versions of the FK series, and the other one being the FK1, which might just make an appearance later on on this list. The mouse has buttons on both sides, is wired and weighs 84 grams. With having buttons on the left and right side of the mouse, it is possible that they could get in the way for you, so make sure to keep that in mind. The mouse is meant for small to medium hands. The mouse is best for fingertip grip and claw grip, but can be used with palm grip with small hands. The mouse is made with a high quality plastic and is a pretty safe size for comfortability. The FK2 comes in at $60 in most marketplaces, and overall the mouse is a solid choice. Next on the list at number 6 is the Razer Death Adder Elite. A couple of pros that have this mouse are Chala of Team Solo Mid and Riser on Team Vitality. It is a wired right-handed mouse. The mouse is on the large side and weighs in at 96 grams, which is pretty light for its size. The Death Adder name is one of the most recognisable names in gaming mice, and for a good reason. This is a great mouse that is great for anyone with large hands and looking for a wired mouse. Coming in at $70, it is yet again a very standard price for a top gaming mouse. Mouse number 5 on the list is the Zowie FK1. Nynx, the IGL and leader of Your Disrupt Gaming, uses this mouse, and alongside Corey from Rogue. The last Zowie on the list has buttons on both sides, just like the FK2, and weighs 87 grams. It is slightly larger than the FK2, and has an even larger FK1 Plus version as well. Other than that, the mouse is similar to the FK2. The mouse has a very low hump, which can be positive or negative depending on your preference. The mouse comes in at $74 US and is a good mouse to consider. The fourth mouse to enter our list is the Logitech G703. Some of the most well-known pro players using this mouse are Canadian and Bosco from Space Station Gaming. This mouse is the first wireless mouse on the list, and although that might make you think wireless mice are not good enough, then you'll want to reconsider. Wireless sensors in gaming mice nowadays are as or even sometimes more responsive than wireless mice. So think about getting a wireless mouse. The G703 is a right-handed mouse that weighs 95 grams, and has 60 hours of usage time, and charges rather quickly. The G703 has a noticeable hump towards the back of the mouse, which some might love, but some might hate, so keep that in mind. The mouse is best for medium to large hands, and it has a nice rubber grip finish on the sides, which helps you make sure that it doesn't slip out of your hands when you're trying to flick quickly. The mouse is on the more expensive side, at 130 US dollars, but high-end wireless mice like this one are usually this expensive. 
Another Logitech mouse makes the list at number 3, and that mouse being the Logitech G403, Shuttle from Disrupt Gaming and Baibu from Vitality use the G403. This is pretty much the wired version of the G703, but lighter at 88 grams. It comes in at a very standard price of 75 US dollars. Next is the runner-up and the mouse taking second place is the Razer Death Adder V2. A couple Brazilian professional Rainbow Six players that use this mouse are PZD of Black Dragons and Cameraman on MIBR. It is a right-handed and wired mouse. This mouse is a newer version of the Elite Death Adder mouse and is lighter at an impressive 80 grams, which is 16 less than the Elite. The mouse is still just as large and has a few upgrades that makes the mouse better. It might be at second place on this list, but it still is an amazing high-end mouse. You can find this mouse at most places for about 70 US dollars. Now time for the granddaddy of them all. The most used and best mouse for professional Rainbow Six Siege players has to be by far the Logitech G Pro Wireless. With by far the best and biggest names in professional Rainbow Six Siege, it is hard to put this mouse anywhere other than at number one. With names like Pengu, Shaiko, Bolau, Kanto, Foltz, Aces, Rampy, CTZN and Fabian, it is by a mile the best and popular mouse right now on the market for Rainbow Six Siege Pros. It weighs 80 grams and is an ambidextrous medium mouse. An 80 gram wireless mouse is insane and one of the reasons so many pro players use it. It has 63 hours of battery life with RGB off, which is one of the best battery life spans on the market. All these amazing features gives this mouse the hefty price of 150 US dollars, which makes it one of the most expensive mice on the market. But you can't blame them for the high price and its large popularity shows people will pay the price. Now that the list is done, I hope that it could help you find any information on what mice pro players use or help you find your mouse of choice. Have a great day and thank you for watching the video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, notification bell and subscribe if you're new.